Hello Stings. In this video we are going to be looking at two special cases that occur sometimes when we are solving equations. In this first example we will go ahead and start with our first question which is do I need to clear fractions and in this case we do not have any fractions to clear but we do need to simplify the right hand side of the equation. The left side is already simplified but we need to apply the distributive property on the right hand side. So when we apply that we end up with negative 15x minus 12 minus 10x. We still do not have the right hand side completely simplified so we will go ahead and combine those two variable terms 15 minus 10 is 5x and now we move on to the next question because our equation is simplified on both sides. Is there anything, or sorry, is the variable on both sides? And in this case, yes it is. And so we are supposed to choose the smallest variable term. But in this case, the variable terms are the same. But nonetheless, we still have to subtract that from both sides. So on the right, or sorry, the left hand side, it zeroes out and leaves a 5. And on the right hand side, it zeroes out and leaves a negative 12. Well, this leaves us a situation where we have a false statement. It doesn't matter what x is, there is never going to be anything that x could equal in this situation so that 5 would ever be the same as negative 12. So because this is a false situation, we say no solution. So in this case, there is no solution. So now our second special case, again we will apply our, our questions. Do I need to clear fractions? No. Do I need to simplify one or both sides? Yes, I need to simplify the left hand side by first applying the distributive property. So we get 6n minus 3 minus 7 equals 6n minus 10. We still need to simplify the left hand side because the constant terms are like terms so they need to be combined and negative 3 minus 7 is indeed minus 10. So we have 6n minus 10 equals 6n minus 10. So then we move on to is the variable on both sides? Yes it is. And again it's a case where they are the same thing so when I go through to subtract what's going to happen is those variable terms are going to disappear and I'm again left with a statement of a number equaling a number. Does negative 10 equal negative 10? Yes, that is a true statement. So in this case, it doesn't matter what the variable is, negative 10 is always going to be negative 10. So we can use any number that we want. So we would say that the solution is all real numbers. So your two cases come into play in that either nothing works or everything works depending on the value of the statement that you get. If it's false, nothing works. If it's true, everything works. And those are our two special cases.